two weeks back, I was watching J.K. Rowling. Any one of you know her? Oh, that's the whole of the whole. Okay, J.K. Rowling, the author of Harry Potter, was speaking in front of the Harvard graduation ceremony, and she was giving the commencement speech. She said, I'll teach you today two things that Harvard did not teach you. I'll teach you today how to imagine, and I'll, I'll teach you today how to learn from your failures. So I'll tell you today that I'll teach you two things that Al Salam School did not teach you yet. <laughs> and I'll teach you how to discover your life purposes, and then how to align them to your future careers, inshallah. This is a conversation that happens very often yeah, in our culture. So what is usually the conversation about? Before I put on the speech marks. The conversation is that, it's not a question actually, it's, a, it's not a conversation. It's a one side instruction. You will become either a doctor or an engineer. Choose which one you want to be. That's it. But this guy is very generous and I don't think he's an Arabic guy by the way. He's asking his girl, what would you like to be, darling, when you grow up? What does she answer? No idea. And good that she asked her and opened the doors, but she has no idea because she has not thought of it. And I think it's very healthy to have this conversation, but it's also healthy to give some room for thinking. I don't want any one of you to be this guy, a 60-year-old regretting his life for only discovering What's the value and purpose of life after he's expired? All of us have this hazy picture in us. All of us has this gem in our own selves. All of us has this great thing that he wants to do. But it's always hazy, it starts off hazy. It doesn't show until we give ourselves a pause. And we go back and we check what we really want. You know those times? in childhood when you feel very energetic and you are going to high school or you're going to universities from high school and you feel so much energetic you want to do something but you don't know what to do you're not sure why you're created and for what you are living but then it takes you maybe a mentor or it takes a pause in life or it takes maybe a holiday or a vacation maybe in the continent of Hawaii <laughs> to make you become this guy who understands what he really wants. Today I'll speak to you about a case study that I've done with a guy who unlocked the hazy picture to discover the clear one. So let's see what happened. There are four keys to unlock the hazy one to the clear one. And the first and the foremost is to know your childhood talents. Your childhood speaks about everything about you. Your childhood's tells you about your future. Today we, have, we had Mr. Amin telling us how to dig, past in, dig in our past in order to discover our futures. That's very true. The more you dig into your past, the more you discover what you'll be when you grow up in future. And this guy had great childhood talents. <coughs> talents that you may relate to. And I want all of you to imagine for yourself whether you, you have those talents or you have, you have other talents. It's not necessary that you have the same ones. Another thing that I'd like all of you to think while I'm speaking is what were your favorite subjects? When I say subjects, it's not, it's not necessary in school. Maybe you hate school altogether. Subjects that you like to research, that you like to speak about, that you like to indulge in, that, you, that if you heard that a lecture is happening on, you will go for it. Those are your favorite subjects. Another thing, or a third thing that you can do, is that you can check out what hobbies you like. All of us have this great thing you want to do in your free time. I know some of you would like to just Netflix all the holiday or all the weekend, but at the end of the day, you'll have this very one thing that you like to do. It, it's not necessary to be unique, but maybe you would like to do it on an ongoing basis and you would like to be a star, like one of our speakers wanted to become a football, uh, I mean, a football, uh, uh, let's say, player, yeah, Armin. He wanted to be one of the best players in football. Yes, he had a dream that he's struggling to reach, but he has something that he, he really holds a, a high value for. Think for yourself, for the fourth one, what are your friends' hobbies as well? What are those hobbies that your friends always try to pursue, always try to practice? 
And when I say hobbies, it also includes interests. So in our case study, we have a guy who, who, who's very good in do, doing friends when he was a child, yeah? And he's someone who likes playing video games, as he's so good, in, so, so good in that, and you can see it over here. So he's good in video games. His friends like video games. Although he, he still likes politics, but so he maybe links Fortnite to politics. I'm not sure how he does it. <laughs> and he likes business and maths. And he has some, some interest of heading student councils and so on. So let's see how we can bring all this and filter it, because this is too much information, yeah? How can you decide where you want to go if you have all this information? So I can say that this guy can be summarized into those five characters. How can we find them? I link them by colors. So he's a guy who's very objective and logical because he learns so fast and he likes to read self-help books. I mean, those are things that I understood when I saw this guy. He's a guy who likes to be around people because he likes to play basketball. And this is, of course, not basketball in the video game, but basketball with real people like you. And then he likes to make friends. He's very organized and structured because he, does, he likes things like business and maths. And he's a person who's very imaginative because he does a lot of video games and he, he likes traveling as well. And he's resistant to stress. How did I know that? Because students, if you open the door for complaints, you will not be able to study. And this guy still had accepted to become the head of student council. So he's a guy who's resistant to stress. So what's your character? I would like you to take a second and, and see which of the sides you, you best fit in. You don't have to be either on the right or the left. For every color, you should choose for yourself one option. And maybe you'll be a mixture of both the right and left sides. But for a second, just think of yourselves. Which one do you fit most in? And which ones do you think it's you? So these are taken from the 16personalities.com material, and it's a very well-established science. Having said that, let's see how we can filter those passions, those great childhood talents, into more meaningful things that we really value. So this is the circle of passion that this guy have built for himself. So he has a passion for organization, for objectivity, for so society and being social, for imagination and so on. But still he has to filter those by his values. Values are thing, things that you really hold a lot of appreciation for. So how do you discover the values? I'll ask you two questions and please ask yourself those questions if you would like to discover your own values. First of all, so if you don't want to say it loud, it's fine because I know your parents are here. If you want to hang out with your friends and your father or mother ask you to go out for dinner with them, which one will you choose? Keep it for yourself. No need to answer this one. Next one you can answer loudly now. It's fine. And the next one, if you have to choose between an after-school activity, will it be community service? Will it be art? Will it be football? What will it be? And keep asking yourself those two questions, but in different contexts and different areas. When you have conflict of two choices, which one do you choose? When you have only one hour, what activity do you prefer over the other? Those are things that will, that will help you discover your values. So what are the values of our friend? His values are, fortunately, family is there, alhamdulillah. And more, more fortunately that you don't know who this guy is, and friends and wisdom. So these are three things that he values most. So let us go to the final slide, final slide in the main deck. And let us solve this problem for this guy and, and show him what his life purpose is. So guess what future careers will fit this person? So this is the summary of this person in seven lines. Or sorry, nine lines. These are his values. This is his personality. And the best way to know a personality that fits a job and know the values that fit, fits a job is just by trying to imagine which jobs are there in the market. So let's start. Do you think this guy will like being an office guy with papers and computers? Raise your hand if you think so. No hands, only one, two, three, four, only four. Four from 100 people, okay, 4%. Okay, do you think he, he would like to become a customer service guy but on the phone, like not meeting anyone but just on the phone, like taking 121,000 calls per day? 
So one person says yes, two, three. So three percent, even less. Okay, let's go to the next. Do you think this, this person would like to sit with customers and interact with them? So again, a customer service guy, but with people, real people, not just voices. Oh, half of the hall is here. Do you think he would like to, to be with a group of employees just working on projects, project after project, and, and meeting uh, vendors and meeting people? And Oh, that's almost three quarters of the hall. Do you think he would like to become a leader of a team, giving them vision, giving them purpose, showing them the way? Almost all the whole is here. Finally, do you think he's a guy who'd like to help others, coach them, mentor them, allow them to reach to higher heights? And very, very finally, do you think this guy would like to travel? Oh, everyone is here. So you have seen how the spectrum have gone from an office guy all the way to a traveling guy, to Ibn Battuta. And this guy is apparently maybe Ibn Battuta's uh, personality, yeah? And he's a guy who doesn't like to be in this side of the spectrum. He likes to be in this side of the spectrum. Why? Because he's someone who likes to be around people. He's someone who's very imaginative. He doesn't care whether stress is there or not. And he's a guy who likes family and friends, and he likes to, to be a leader. This is how you can discover yourself, how you can discover your values, how you can discover your life purpose, and then how you can simulate some jobs and see which one you fit in both, which one you fit in best. Let me take you back and tell you that those are only jobs, but life purpose is a bigger word. It's a word that will encompass your whole life. It's not only eight to four, it's 12 to 12, 12 a.m. to 12 a.m. again. And this is a bigger thing that I would urge all of you to think of. Yes, a job can resemble some of your life purpose, but at the end of the day, Figuring out what you want to be in life and then choosing the right job for it is the right way to do it. Let me take you back again. The hazy image will always stay hazy unless you give yourself some time and pause and connect to the right mentors and coaches and connect yourself to the right people who you think will make you discover your own life purpose. So the clarity that you will get will be a moment of truth will be a moment that you, that you will remember for the rest of your life. Mine was on 25th, May 2013. And this is something that I will never forget because it's something that will touch your heart and that will make a lot of meaning to your life. I don't want you to become this guy when you grow up. So that's why I came here today to speak about how you can discover for yourself your life purposes. And for sure, don't forget what J.K. Rowling have said. Imagine and learn from your failures. I've left for you, and I'll end my talk by this, some sheets. It's only one sheet with a double-sided print showing you what I've done today in a nutshell that you can do for your own self. Thank you very much.